Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're getting ready to plant some seeds. I got some old Jiffy Pops from other years. Uh, I don't know when I got them, but probably on sale somewhere. Like, I'll take care of these someday, and here we are. We went to the Dollar Tree and got these fabulous $1 things. I figured out you can hold about 15 of them in here. I wonder how I figured that out. And over here we got some pressed cocoa fiber. It's a brick that you get out of the hardware store. It's excellent for starting seeds, green and all that lovely stuff. Sometimes these pots have a bad habit when they get wet, they fall apart. So I got a scooper. We're gonna try it with our hands first to see how it works. So far, so good. And now repeat. Now these Jiffy paper pots, um, when they're sopping wet, don't try to pick them up very much or handle them because they will just fall apart. That's kind of the idea of these pots. They're just meant to take from here and transplant directly into your garden. That's why we're doing this method. So we got 30 pots filled up with um, coconut fiber. My wife's helped a little bit. She's kind of used to not getting hands so dirty, but just coconut fiber. I mean, it's, it's not even dirt, hardly. Now we're making a selection for seeds. We're just going to do a little bit and we're going to do this whole pro uh, transplant and get all in the earth and about, well, we're going to immediately start another batch of these things here so that we can have a continuous harvest of melons. That's what we're going for primarily. So we got lots of melon seeds, all kinds of them. Even cantaloupe seeds from years ago that I saved here. Should be good eating. These were good eating. Mmm. Mmm, good. I want to grow these Georgian rattlesnake suckers. What do you want here, Ina? I want this onion and my green beans. Where are my green beans? Where are my green, green beans? beans? Where are your green beans? The long green beans. The long green beans. Oh my god. There we go. Asparagus bean. That's what my wife wants to plant. A few of those. Onion seeds. How long do these take to grow? Oh, these are quick. The same thing. Okay. Right, I want more melons, 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 different variety. There we are, Ken. Cayenne Spanish variety. Ooh, these are quick hard. Okay, we can do some melons. Oh, and of course cucumbers, and I want my pickling cucumbers. Sugar baby. Oh boy, where is the picklers? There we go. All right. We're going to plant a little bit and label it. That's very important. And we'll be back out there. Here we go. They're calling this watermelon bush sugar baby a vegetable. I don't think I know what a vegetable is. So, um, really just go as deep as the seed. That's all you ever, uh, what I've heard is a general rule of thumb, and that's what I'm going with. And just a little bit. And you don't want to use just potting soil or just regular old dirt for this because it forms a crust and it's real hard for the seed to germinate. Yeah. And I'm being very optimistic. I'm hoping that that seed germinates because there's a possibility that it's a dud. And also the other thing too when you're doing this, mark it as you're doing it so you know what it is. H2O melon.
now that we have the seeds all in their pods, we're going to put it in the windowsill where it gets plenty of sun because seeds need moisture and heat to germinate. Hopefully in a week or so they're all germinated. By the time they start sprouting and getting a little bigger, we'll thin them out as needed. And then we'll immediately transplant outside. And our garden will be growing. Come watch us and come grow with us. Thanks for watching. Always water the seeds. And try not to disturb them too much, otherwise they wash away, especially the smaller ones.